Hello guys, Turbo Voucher here back with another video. Today I have another Beyblade vs. Turbo episode review. Today I have episode 35, Spirit of Flame, Turbo Surprising. So before we start off this review, I'm just going to say there will be spoilers on the episode if you guys have not seen it yet. Um, at the time of recording this video, is yet to air in America. But once it goes up, you can find it on Disney now and um, America. It's currently out out on in Teletoon in Canada. Um, you can find it on Teletoon on demand if you haven't seen it in Canada. Um, and it will be on the Beyblade vs. official YouTube channel once, two weeks, probably two weeks after it airs in America. But, um... If you are an American you really want to see the episode, you can find it on um, Dranzer X13's um, Beyblade Burst Turbo um, Google Drive folder on um, the WBO. It, it should be there until it goes up on the Beyblade Burst official YouTube channel. But yeah, so let's get into the review. So the episode continues off from episode 34 where Iger met um, Shu. Shu um, told, ends up telling Iger that um, he's pushing Achilles too far. Ibuki comes in and he tells um, Iger that Shu was nervous about him and Ranjiro comes in and meets Shu for the first time. Um, Iger tells um Shu to not the word because um him and he him and Achilles are getting stronger, but Shu tells um Iger right after that uh, um his corruption with um his resonance is corrupt is corrupted with Achilles, so Iger gets mad and he wants to battle um Shu, so right after that Shu reveals his brand new Turbo Bay Turbo Surprising um anyway so it it is also a Turbo Awakening Bay just like Turbo Veltric that we seen four four episodes ago, anyways um. Vault made it four episodes ago, and then we actually seen its um, awakening the episode after. But anyways, um, so your villas turbo surprise and hide. I'm um, well, We see hide and evil. Um, we evil. Um, he thinks hide brought Iger to the dread tower to attract um, bladers. Hide says it's destiny. But anyways, so um, they Shu and Iger are about to battle. Count Nightfall is watching the battle, and yeah. So Ranjiro he all he tells um. Vault, I mean, not Vault, but Iger, he tells Iger that, um, I mean, Spryzen has the ability to turn, go, spin, has dual spin, a dual spin function. That was first introduced in Legend Spryzen from the previous season, um, and it was also, also has the ability to, um, change modes into attack, defense, and stamina due to its driver. Um, anyways, Iger tells, um, Ranger to stop, and then, so, we get into the battle, and Shu, um, has surprise and right and clockwise stamina mode. Anyways, they launch into the stadium. Shu um immediately goes into turbo crux boost and um the turbo blades on surprise and release. So once they launch into the stadium, um surprise and takes the center and um Achilles is using turbo launch. Shu uses turbo counter break and versus Achilles in its first hit. So Evel um discovers the turbo awakening with the turbo blades and stuff like that. Anyway, so Iger he gets mad and he wants to do it again. Okay, so Fubuki, um, he tells Iger that um, said ask him if he hadn't had enough yet. And anyways, so Iger wants to go again, and Hyde is getting hyped up. And we begin to the second battle where Shu puts Surprise in, in counterclockwise mode and in defense mode. So anyways, the Turbo Blades release on Surprise. In. Um, he goes into Turbo Upper Launch and hits Achilles. Iger he's feeling the pain from Achilles, and Achilles um starts clashing and. Starts clashing into um, Spryzen and uses Turbo Whip. Spryzen goes flying but lands safely. Um, and then or after that, Fubuki discovers the, um, that the Turbo Awakening is an um, effect um, due to the fact that Spryzen hasn't even, isn't hurt. Like, right, well, not hurt, but you get what I mean. Anyways, um, so anyways, Iger goes into Turbo Whip again to try and burst Spryzen. Spryzen it goes flying again, but the tip unlocks on Spryzen and. It switches to attack mode. Iger is feeling pain again, and then Achilles. Iger goes dark, and then we get into his heat. He heats up. We get into Achilles' avatar attack. Right after that, Shu heats up, and we get into um, Spryzen's avatar attack. Right after that, Spryzen uses Turbo, Spryzen whip, and Achilles burst. And Iger, Ranjiro, and Fubuki they're blown away from this um from the bursts and stuff like that. Anyways, so Shu wins again. Ranjiro um gives Iger Achilles and um. Um, she wants to talk to Iger privately. Anyways, so Iger he doesn't understand how the Turbo Awakening works, and um, he tells him that um, him his Shu's bond with Surprise and caused the um Turbo Blades to release, and this is what's called the Turbo Awakening. Um, as we've seen of Vault. Anyways, so Iger he gets mad, and anyways, so he starts to go nuts, and right after that, Ranjiro has to stop him and stuff like that. She tells him to listen. Iger refuses, and then he has to yell at um shout at Iger to do that. And then, so Iger listens, and then Chu starts to talk about his red eye days, how he um was corrupted, his resonance of Spryzen was corrupted, and he started destroying base, like he destroyed 
Genesis Velchicks, well, Strike Velchicks, Reboot Tip, and Vault ended up saving, um, he also destroyed other base, Vault ended up saving Q from d doing this, and at the final episode of Evolution, and, um, this is now, like, yeah, you can understand, um, how Vault saved Shu and stuff like that. And that Shu was lucky enough to have Vault as a friend that was caring, and he ended up saving him from his red-eyed haze. And so, either he doesn't care because he's not red-eyed. Anyway, so he gets into argument about Ranjiro, how I, I Ranjiro doesn't understand due to his hair, um, long hair. And anyways, the doors of the Dread Tower open, and Vault comes in. Vault and Shu they reunite, and then Vault um brings ba some Bay bread of Achilles, Crash Rocktivore, and Imperfornius. Um. So, we found out that both Vault and Chu were nervous about, um, Iger, and then, so, Chu finds out Turbo Veltrick has been completed, and Turbo Surprising was created long before, um, Turbo Veltrick. Anyway, so Hyde, he comes in on one of his cameras, and then opens it, like, so, splits to stair a staircase in two, and then to where there's an entrance, un entrance under the staircase, and Iger goes in, he wants to, um, Iger lets him, um, if Hyde lets Iger battle him again, to um, see if he'll actually beat him this time because Hyde is getting hyped up and he's ready to battle Iger again. So now we're getting to, well, the Dread Tower is going to broadcast it all over the world and we're getting to um, Hyde's top, well, not, well, Hyde's going to have his match with, uh, rematch with Iger and um, so they're going to the Dread Coliseum. Iger, once Iger comes in, the flames start to happen just like in episode 29 where Iger got scared and stuff like that. Anyway, so Shu, it shows Ball and Fubuki and Shu on the TV. On the broadcast, and then Hyde comes in with his special entrance, and then we get after that. Iger starts resonating with Achilles and goes dark, and then so Iger he's getting hyped up about um defeating Hyde, trying to defeat Hyde this time, and yeah, so it ends it off for Spirit of Flame Turbo Surprising. It was a really good episode. I did enjoy it. Next time we'll be doing episode thirty six, the darkness, the darkness within, and yeah. So if you guys did enjoy this review, please leave a like, please subscribe, please follow me on social media. Link to the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.